You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. I still have a lot to do at the guild. How about you take a rest while I go back? You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. I still have a lot to do at the guild. How about you take a rest while I go back? You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. This thing. Okay. All right. Let's hope this game doesn't fall apart again. <laughs> No touching!
testing. Okay, that's working. Is the game volume on? Yes. But this is quiet for me. I think he's... Okay. Behind schedule. I could do the event, but I kind of wanted to go along with the story of Sumeru. Where is this? Is it up here? It is over here. I knew it. I had a feeling it would be here. It's quite a large space. The chasm was very small. And it does connect through to Fontaine. Interesting. Yeah. Let's get these commissions up. We're way behind schedule. Schedule. All hail! Rain cutter! Rain outlines your fate! No, my sword! Oh. 
Next on the agenda. Oh, I have three temples. Cool. <laughs> Hello, Jabbery. Long time no see. Damn right. <laughs> God. I don't think I streamed last week, actually. Stupid network issues. I'm surprised that the stream is still <laughs> going right now. Because apparently the issues are still happening, but I think it seems to be going all right. Who Nahida, you can get her? I've got three temples. I'm my... What's my pity at? I think my pity is at like 51. And I can lose the 50-50. Hype for Lanterite? Yeah, I'm pretty hyped for it. I like the fact that we get a new area. <laughs> Next pull, Nahida, guarantee. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51. This could work. <laughs> <laughs> but I could also lose the 50-50. Noah's an owl because I already got her at C6. But we got three ten pulls. Let's go for it. 320? Okay. Hey, Voss. Ooh. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, and if you ever want to book a wushu dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Sick. Wait, have they always said their voice lines when you get them? I feel like that's new. <laughs> That was a long push line. <laughs> hey, at least I got him on my first pull. <laughs> so am I going to get lucky with another one? No. I want to save for Arlich. When do they come out? Are they the next in line? Damn, I only got one. Let's go. So 71. God damn it. I think I'm gonna go to <laughs> pity. That's an owl. <laughs> Give me another gaming. I'm coming out 4.6. Interesting. God damn it. I this I mean this has to be this. <laughs> Please Please I forgot to do a ritual I just went straight for it I'm trusting you, Jash. I'm trusting you. 
Nice to meet you. Yeah! <laughs> I've actually been watching you for a long time already. My name's Nahida. I might look like a child, but don't be fooled. I understand this world much better than any grown-up. So, can we trade knowledge? I want to hear all about your travel stories. So, what would you like to know in return? <laughs> Jash, I believe you will get her. I 100% do. If I can get her, so can you. But to be fair, I think I went straight to hard petty with her. <laughs> give me a second one. Are you going to give me another Nahida? How much wishes were you supposed to get for Lantern, right? I think it's like 13. Oh, well, 10 for the whole event, but they're giving like three or something else. It's weird. Oh, we got Nahida! What is this? Commissions? Oh, okay. I already finished my commissions. Isn't that the whole uh, wishes thing that calls for all the like drama for Which we're not going to go into. <laughs> it's so nice to de-stress. You're gonna see if you can get Nahida? If I don't want that. <laughs> uh, where are you? Nahida, where are you? Guess what, actually. So, with, so when I first quit Genshin, so I quit at around 2.7, no, 3. I think 3.9 is when I actually quit. So I got Nahida. I actually ended up getting her weapon a long time ago. <laughs> so now I have a use for it. I have her weapon. <laughs> and it's perfect. I don't even remember when I got her weapon. I'm assuming it was 3.0 because that's when I left. But <laughs> I got it. And now I've got her. <laughs> Show you the login event? Uh, yeah, sure. One moment. No, let's not waste our big gear people. Oh, I didn't... I was... Right. That's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, just go with what... Just go with what your heart desires. I honestly, actually, you have an RP with Zip? Nice. I used to try and get with Zip so much, but, um, and I did, but now I've got two <laughs> with <Zips. laughs> Um, I will say wait for Alecino. Just to be on the safe side. You never know. Save as much as you want. Oh, as much as you can. That's what I would say. I was trying to get Yoimiya from the last banner. I was like... I was trying. That's why I had 51 on pity. <laughs> but, um... But then I, was, I thought I should just save for Nahida because I actually needed a Dendro, more Dendro characters. Ooh, you restaurant? Start saving for Alatina, you can get enough pulls to win if you lose. Yeah, definitely. Add Astra. 
Thank you for completing to... We got Nikita. I've been, well, I've been trying to. What with the network issues that have been happening, so that I haven't been able to stream much. Gonna wait until the very last day? Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> I've been trying to grind for. So I've been trying to build Navia. Like, I managed to get her to 90, but the problem was. Artifacts. God, farming artifacts for her was rough. Especially with the network issues, because so, this game was so laggy. Sorry, here are the here are the rewards for the event that I said I was going to show. One, two, three, five So, ten. We get ten wishes. Um. Oh, I need to do this as well. I have no idea who this is. But I'm assuming they're a Sumeru character. Hmm. But see, now I'm... I'm really confused about what I sh should be doing. Because I kind of want to go through the Sumeru quest line. But the event is out. And I want to go exploring the new area for the event. My expedition. You can find Add Astro. <laughs> oh, I uh, claimed. Also, because, um, because I got Nahida. Here's, you guys can have, you guys can have some points. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to do this. Nope, nope, I'm doing it wrong. <coughs> so you get a thousand cookies. Let's see if this works. Please tell me it works. Or did I turn my stream labs off? God damn it. <laughs> if you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. Why am I logged out? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, so I wonder if I'm supposed to just be logged in for its work. God damn it. <laughs> give me, give me a moment. I thought it, I thought I knew how this worked. Point system. Is it this? It is this. Okay. A thousand and ten points. Should we really be off work this early? 
There is still a lot left to do. Damn it, I have no idea. Let me refresh this. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'm going all right now, but oh my god, this is what was happening last week for a few weeks now. Actually, this is why I haven't been able to. I haven't been able to stream or even make videos. My ping is stuck at 999. I have no idea if, if this is even going through because. My ping is stuck at 999. Jesus Christ, what the heck just happened? Oh wait, it's dropping down. Nope, it's going back up. Oh? Oh my god. This is wild. No, I was looking for what's playing. See if I can bring it up. You can find everything and anything in Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Uh, this is this is frustrating. Oh, it seems like it's finished connecting again, but... Hmm. is so bad. the grass you can feel the heartbeat of the world nope that's not what I'm looking for <clears throat> all right let me Seems to be working fine now. Okay. I think we're good. It's so nice to de stress. Um, that's. What's this? Cool. So, this. Oops. Oops. I'm missing I'm missing I'm missing stuff up. God damn it. 
This is what's messing with <sighs> the internet, apparently. This is why I haven't been able to stream so much. A subsea cable fault between Perth and Singapore has resulted in suboptimal routes being Should utilized really for some traffic be this early? through there is still a lot Asia left Pacific. To do. Customers may experience higher than normal latency to applications and services outside of New Zealand during this time. Engine Impact is a service outside of New Zealand. In fact, a lot of services on the internet are. This is why I haven't been able to stream much. Update. Repair is approximately done in mid-January. We're in Feb. But that's why... This is why my stream... I haven't been able to stream. Because of this. But it looks like we're back to normal. So we'll take that. Now what do I do? Oh, I got Garmin too. Right. I'm so what do you do? Yeah, Claymore. Houses forward. Uses rising to the air. Hum if he immediately uses a plunging attack, it'll be a powerful one. Converted to pyro damage that cannot be overridden. Will consume a fixed amount of HP. Cannot be re reduced below 10%. It's considered plunging attack damage. Oh. So we should be upgrading this. But his plunge... Why? Oh no, his plunge damage is pretty good. So that claim more shell? <laughs> I've got normal shell. Let's see. Let me just... Get rid of that. There we go. Um, 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 um. There we go. Alright, what does this do? Enters Wusho Stance. Recovering HP and summons... Man... How did he pronounce it? Manzai? To smash into his target dealing AoE pyro damage. Roll into a nearby location before moving towards... When it links up with Garmin, Manzai will leave the field and reset the cooldown for his elemental skill. Oh. Resistance to interruption increased, and when he lands a Cloud Strider attack or completes the forward pounce from Bestial Ascent, with over 50, he will summon Mansai again. Each Garmin can only have one Mansai on the field simultaneously. This effect will be cancelled once Garmin leaves the field. Charmed Cloud Strider has an opponent, Garmin will regain 1.5% of his max HP. Oh. oh, he increases movement speed during the day? Wait, hasn't it been a while since we had a character like that? The only one I remember that does that is Rosaria, and she increases movement speed at night. <laughs> His, oh wow, his outfit looks sick. Oh, he uses Star Conch. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, 
main boss? Let me save this up. Oh, he gets attack. <laughs> Sick. He looks so cool. Constellations. He will heal 15%. His attack increases when he receives healing. Oh, when it overflows. Okay. Restores two energy. That's good. Wow. That's that's big. 20% crit rate and 40% crit, crit damage? Nahida. Let's see one Nahida. Oh. Wait, see one Nahida is actually really good. So it treats it like as if the party has at least one of each already. But then if you have one of each in your party already, it'll count as two characters. I see one's really good. I think I remember, yeah, her abilities. Oh, right, she can collect. we have a way to collect resources. Thank God, I hated, I, so I was trying to farm for her. I hated collecting her, the flowers, because they were all on the side of cliffs. You're as bad as getting violet grass. Where are you? So I need to build you. I then need to fight the danger hyper and I need to get like more of this. When does your weapon release? Tuesday, Friday, and well oh, Sunday tomorrow, I guess I could do that there. I don't have artifacts because I've been trying to build Navia. But, alright then. Does the network is fine? The network is fine. Let's see how long that lasts. Um. No, I'm not gonna. How long does the event last for, actually? We didn't get a Lu where Oh. Oh yeah, we did it. Yes. I said yes. One moment. It's so nice to de-stress. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do.
If you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. It's so nice to de-stress. Okay. Okay, um, you don't need to watch now. <laughs> Just wanted to check to see if this is working. It seems to be fine now. Yeah. Alright. I need to click from here. Schedule. Nope, well. This realm So the last time I left off with, so I actually started the Sumeru quest. I didn't get far though. I think I just got through, got through, found, followed some lady, got drugged, ended up in front of a weird, very pretty looking tree, and then we woke up here, where Tignari told us to stay or live we we're gonna stay there for a while and asking us about our symptoms you i need to fight you from the heater but that'll have to wait so um 
I thought there was going to be a quest line for the left and right, but I guess not. Not yet. Can I do this? Unstable. I can see it. Alright. Let's go find Kyle. Let's let's stick with the summary request line. I guess until um Next, let's see your right hand. Hmm, not bad. Uh, but please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well... You understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Uh, feeling any better? Is there something we can help with? Yeah! Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? Hmm. In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Got it! I'll be right there! All right. We'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further <laughs> did he, details did to Kale. Really see all that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can count on me. Hi, Tanari. We're so, leaving soon. Kale, okay. What exactly are we going to be doing today? <laughs> Tanari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities. Ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, traveler, this way! Okay, but let me just... Let me just... Switch up my team. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me! In the meantime, you two Yesterday, can keep an eye out for anything unusual! The lamps? Oh. Um... Oh, that's how you spread. I'm clicking the thumbstick. <laughs> Nothing wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make... Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. Oh, that's the lamp. Give me grounded vibes. Oh. A little hobbit house. Oh, it's broken. It. 
I should have a Dendro character running around with me, right? I feel like that's how I should be playing. But I've got no... I've got no Dendro characters. And I don't have a lot of elemental mastery, but... That was attack. That would have been really nice. No matter. Let's continue. of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation you must have seen it when you came down this road before it's pretty high up there isn't it don't worry if you're afraid you can't make it up there i'm sure master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue i'm the terrific oh? climber i guess i'll leave it up to you then there's not much footing once you reach the statue so be careful up there climber will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach areas um by the way kale do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh-huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. Mm, that to the been. people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. Sounds exactly like what happened to Raiden Makoto. Does it coincide with Kyrie? According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Ah... Uh, but... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. <laughs> because you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Knights of Thelonius? Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Uh... <laughs> sorry. Huh? Uh... Hyman thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's all right, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you.
to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew! Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust, really. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's alright. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Rukadavata or the Sanctuary of Surasthana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? Are we? I guess we are. <laughs> Even though we <laughs> just right. met. We have a statue to clean! You both have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Now we keep going. Don't make a sneeze. Huh. Now that Paimon nope, looks at I'm it, good. the deity that's <laughs> carved on the statue is kinda small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Rukadavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. Nice work. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Ah, I thought we were just going to tear out all the foliage around here. Guess not. Restraint Paimon. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiangling taught Paimon that. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope you'll like them. Hello, kitty. Uh, it's been a while. Whoops. Ah, no, you dropped it on the ground. Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, Paima nearly had a heart attack there. Have you been having a good week? I'm still sort of having Those network issues. Those are amazing. You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paima wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So... Don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. 
No, no, Marjorie you've got the wrong idea about case. Master. Nice. Uh, <laughs> sure, Enjoy the weekend. he may seem a bit <laughs> harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. But Master is actually very kind at heart. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Uh... Um... Boo... Something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, Sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. It does sound like something Tignari will say. Speaking of his ears, I'd really like to pet them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, I'm sure the Sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the Academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a Forest Watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest, and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make Pita Pockets. Really? Paimon would have never guessed that! Mm, the Pita Pocket sounds nice. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here! Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. What did you do? Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! <laughs> Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some pun- Okay. No! Don't touch me! Uh... Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... Uh, I... I didn't mean that. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. I've read the comic. Huh? What was up with Kai just now? For Genshin Why Impact. is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? I didn't read all the books. I think some of it was still being back. released. She's practically running back. Paimon can't even but see her now. But I remember her being... Is it like some sort of curse or something? I wonder if they'll talk about her past in this. Traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back! Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. I've been good, Kitty. Thank you for asking. Stay here I haven't while. slept yet, though. <laughs> well, I had like a two-hour nap. But this guy has technically been awake for 24 hours. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to clear my nose. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently running on two hours sleep. Oh, I Do you think you can get liney during the rerun? Is this rerun the next banner? Time. Eight o'clock. Thinking all night about what happened. 
and with Polly. And still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Oh, Kitty, guess what? Oh, wait, we're in the cutscene. Ah, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. Something as small as you could never harm her. This sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? <coughs> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Kitty, I did some pools earlier and look who I got. I got Nahida. <laughs> and I've got her weapon. But I, did, I already had a weapon. But now I've got Nahida and her weapon. What's interesting is that the only person that I've got who has their... Who I managed to get their weapon is Raiden. And yeah, I got Nahida and I can finally use her weapon. I unfortunately... Don't have her built because I've been trying to build Navia, who's been eating all of my resin. Especially for her goddamn artifact. I've been so unlucky farming for these. Where, where am I going? Down? Oh, yeah, right there. I can join your world from the heat of flowers. Oh, yeah, I could do that. All right, let's continue our conversation I still need here, shall we? The flowers on this one. But to I'm not be honest, because... I hadn't realized you were that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale to told me build, just um, now. I've Navia. also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and in Inazuma. So just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. <sighs> but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari... What exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on affected areas of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Man. That sounds terrifying! You know when you want to join the world? Yeah, yeah. I'll let you know when I want to raid your stuff. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. So is there any cure for Elazar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. 
However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? The Fatui? Ah, it appears you already are familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Trauma. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, uh, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Hmm. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. How's her condition now? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led her to break down this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. She was interested in the work of the Forest Rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance patrols are a little too much for her now. All right, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Can we come along? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two, the rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering, like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No problemo! Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as the Nilotpala Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Nilotpala Lotuses can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gandarvaville. Hmm. Given the name... <laughs> It sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. <laughs> you are correct. The Nilotpala lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Calpolata, for example. Nice. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose and is completely contrary to its name. Be still. Did I just make that mushroom drown? I'll take it. Hmm. There Murder. should be a load pile of lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Listen, Let's split up and begin defense. searching. <laughs> if you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Oh, this one wants to check. How many? 20, 32, 40, 40, 46. 
you get roughly two per challenge from a boss. I have to stifle. That's 23. So I have to fight this guy 23 times if I want to get Nahida to level 90. Smile every time, time I remember 40. the look on my retainers' faces when I informed them of my plans today. Panic stricken, but unable to muster the courage to say anything in opposition. <laughs> 920 resin. Ah, yes, this was a fine idea. Damn, that's a lot of resin. <laughs> Just to get her to fall. Okay, we've gathered enough new at Polo Lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Can you get... Oh, actually. Wait, I should bring her out. <laughs> Sorry, Yunjin. Nahida, we are. Time to broaden the horizons again. You can do. Look at her, she's so adorable. <laughs> I see everything. Ah, yeah, th there we go. Oh my god, it's gonna make farming so much faster and easier. What AI are you in? Are you on Asia? I am AR59, and yes, I am on the Asia server. I'm not farming for her. Um, I'm not going to farm for her flowers at the moment. But when I do need them, I will be sure to let you know. Do her charge attack? Oh. It's a cube. Was I went the wrong way? God damn it. Every time I see the cube, I'm like, yeah. wait, that looks like the I know one god. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I'm just like pushing and she probably has no connection whatsoever. Oh. Do I have any wings for you, child? Wow, that's, yeah, that's perfect wings for her. But for now, you could go with that. You want the heat on your Ajax? <laughs> Do you have her on your main account? Oh, so get it. I'm yeah. glad I got her. Yeah. Yeah. I love her attack animation. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tainari! We found the lotuses you requested! So 
Sorry, Let me have a look. Hmm, good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But Sorry. didn't they just set off not too long Never ago? Nice. Hmm, what are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area, so we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gandarvaville. Wait, Kainari! Why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the Withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal you to wildlife and even oh, no. people. If you don't carry a vision, <laughs> then you should think twice before approaching such places. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when that I sucks. said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. I might be able to help with this. I can also control the elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry. He may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm. Seems the rumors about you were true then. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gandarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. This is that brown and red stuff that I ran into when I was still running through to Fontaine. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there. In the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're gonna have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Gotcha. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. Oh, this is where those tutorials that I see. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Yes, I do this. Oh. Cascade! Oh. 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 
Why is his damage so low? My god, he's 86205. And he has 22 attack. Jesus Christ. What's your skill level? Like? You should be at 10. You're not at 10. I should crown you, though. What do I do? Do I just do. <laughs> Nope. All right, tutorial. Where are you? Elements, enemies, system, adventure. Oh, did I go past it? Here we go. It's not a fixed location. Okay. Okay. You must use the power of the dendro granite to clear the withering away. Only via this method can you destroy the withering branches they spread. Only when all the branches are destroyed can the tumor be destroyed. You're not going to tell me how to destroy it? So I have to dendro to this? With charge attacks. Maybe a sword user will be fast. Uh, wait, where am I? And then now we can destroy this. Or not. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Be still. Now, destroy the tumor of the withering. We did it! Everything's oh. returning to normal now! <laughs> yes. Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does the feeling you're worried about something it's that obvious huh all right it's like this recently the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone it won't be long before another one appears if that simply meant more work for me then that wouldn't be an issue but it's far more severe than that the withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself for instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Is there no way to permanently get rid of the withering? No, none that we know of. 
The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Oh, oh by the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? That does sound familiar. Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermansol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Oh yeah. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin Soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. You mean Ermansol is sick? That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago, but even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansol. <sighs> I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time, until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Kandarvaville. Interesting. Monsters that attack will cause decay to accumulate. Oh, use Dendro or Dendro Grana to effectively destroy the shields. Okay. I was just straight up attacking that dude. What was that? Did that just give me a primo gem? <laughs> that was weird. All right. Oh god, I press I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh? I think I've got the wrong title for my Wait, stream up. Is that? I'm not doing anything to do with Lantern right. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Hapasia! This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. Uh, you do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Uh... So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Yes, uh, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? This is not the first well, time. Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... Well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, 
Hapacha's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh Let's find out. Oh, shit. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? It's a light and refreshing fragrance. No unusual feelings this huh? time. Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw when you were unconscious? They weren't hallucinations? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers were shown much favor by Greater Lord Ruka Devada. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was a part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. So what exactly was it? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Soul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Soul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. Okay. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hapasia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. That was awkward. Also, what the heck? here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her, and she'll answer any questions you may have. Thank you. <laughs> no, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. That was... That was such an odd pause. <laughs> Am I being suspicious for no reason? That was so weird. Hapatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. <laughs> uh. Hello? Hapatia? Hey, there's nobody here. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. What was that sound? Did it knock us out? 
Oh, no, it didn't. There you are! Hypatia, are you alright? Uh, uh, so hungry. <coughs> Eat water. She looks famished. There's no way we can get famished. her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Huh? How'd things out here end up looking like this? Wh what happened? And where are we? Relax. Where are we? Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Did that thing teleport? Of course so. Oh! Oh, it's a domain. Interesting. I wanted to bring out Raiden. This world design is so good. Wow! This place is huge! This is so pretty. Paimon knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. You'll sometimes find bouncy mushrooms. Oh. Yeah. Nope, nope. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so... Why is this so hard? <laughs> There was a grapple line this whole time. Maybe I should have looked around a bit more. <laughs> primeval rosin and domains. Your son's been spent primeval rosin. Click three to unlock the path. Oh, we're back! <laughs> I'm guessing it's like that, um... Those doors in Inazuma, we have to click those three... Naga tunnels? I believe they're called? Oh! He's got that mushrooms. I can't go there. <laughs> and now I... What? I had to jump on that just to get here. Can I just go... No, I didn't go back. Oh. Yeah! 
I see everything. Yeah, 140 damage. Into the wind. She marks them and links up all their damage. So I got damaged by my own blooms. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Nice. Oh, I'm like a golden snitch. Investigate the courtyard. And we're back to Inazuma. What in Tibet is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. This was from that event. It'd have been from ages ago. Oh, I forgot to do this. We well, get this guy, Shiki. We connect in the flower. This is weird. Wait, it's a picture now. Wait, what? <laughs> so, what? What the heck? This place is trippy. He's got it. Where's... Oh, that's HP. You know what, just borrow that for now. I 
think, yeah, he is that one. We do not take that, I take that. Man, and she's only level 40. Jesus. Oh, I didn't check to see what she gets when she ascends. Damn, and I kind of want to get her at C1. Wow, Burning Bloom, Hyper Bloom, and Burgeon can get crit? That's huge. Holy crap, her? <laughs> Damn it. Her constellations are so good. <laughs> You can gain a maximum of 250 elemental mastery in this manner. Damn. That's big. Each point beyond 200 will grant her 1% bonus damage and 0.03% up to a maximum of 80% and 24. Oh my god. If she has a thousand elemental mastery. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Wait, she gets ten percent elemental damage. Wow, ninety one percent dendro damage. But if they're the same, she gets... Why is it... Why is it not the other way? God, Dendro is so confusing. But let's just take a moment to appreciate just how pretty this place is. with me oh god i do i'm going in let's light it up take yourself to home not so if you're gonna everyone hold hands how bad the wind knows it you're doing like 3000 burning damage that's huge I have nothing to hurt. deal with this water. Get out of here! Please tell me this will work. It doesn't. Hey. Okay, so that was supposed to. Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Traveler. Though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your 
good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. My journey will not end here. I still must find my sister. Your sister? <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? I zoned out. Wait, so Paimon wasn't there? Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Mystery. Ooh. <laughs> so Paimon wasn't there. Whoa. Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. Those are some giant fruit. After giving the semi-conscious Hypatia some more than uh, fruit juice. Who is there? Tainari, is that you? Ah. Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hypatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. Give Hypatia the leader... The leader. <laughs> the letter from Tainari. Tainari. Tainari? I have not... I've, I've heard it pronounced both ways. I have no idea how it's pronounced. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. They say Tainari. So I apologize Tainari. for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we oh, arrived. Oh, that little mushroom thing trying to help we her? We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh... How did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Is it a little round creature, kind of like a cabbage? Oh? So you are able to see them too? Second traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry, they mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Ah. So Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding 
and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. Okay, it's weird. This thing it wasn't like until heavy. I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. What fascinating Yes, creatures. no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. And <laughs> sorry about I'm that. Hungry too. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier. <sighs> Anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. Alright, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hepasia. They're our specialties after all. Mmm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> We're cooking? This fire? I set the forest on fire, my bad. Oh, now I'm on fire. God damn it. Um Everyone's dying. Well, give me my flower please, and make some more. something else I needed but I forgot what it was oh I need butter but I've got no more I've got no more milk damn it no one's joined me on an adventure in ages silence come minute. on all done let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it oh it smells amazing and the box is a nice touch too let's go see and start eating with Hapasia. Hapasia, the food you made. Wait, let me see what's in the back. No. Interesting. Can I steal your fruit? No, I can't. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. Box lunch from the Traveler. How did you put soup in this? Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time it took me nearly three years before i could do so and everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius you should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with ermine soul as you have so why does this incense allow people to connect to ermine soul the ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by greater lord ruka devata these special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. 
Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the Earth. Oh, so now it makes sense why the Academia is here. Naturally. Anyone who can establish a connection with Ermensoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry though, it appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of Spirit Born Ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew, well that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermensoul at will. Whoa, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritawes Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermensoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermensoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermensoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermensoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Whoa. So knowledge from Ermensoul could be super dangerous. Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Ah. Huh. Wow. Is that true? Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Reminds me of the dream I saw from the Aranara. It was a big chaotic mess. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then... On the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> Just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, do you have any thoughts about the things he saw when he connected with Ermensoul? 
Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life. I might have some more answers for you. What? Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Thanks. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> Paige is all right and had the chance to ask her some questions. Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. Interesting. Very interesting. Adults can't dream. Also, while you're AFK, and the heater goes on screen, she doesn't make any annoying sounds because her idol is one of the longest idols. Oh! I kind of want to... Oh, I can't... Oh, there we go. Right. Let's... I want to see her... I want to see her... Idols. And it doesn't make noise. Oh, <laughs> nah, idea. <laughs> Does she just stay like this? Okay, there's something I wanna... Let me... Let's have the appropriate... Oh, I don't have an appropriate follower. What is this stuff? Oh, I need to do this. Um, best place to do that would be... <gasps> For about a, a minute, Nahida's on his swing. Sick! Oh no, let's see. So we go. Everyone hold hands! Nope. Ch Okay. Let me just heal up because I don't know why, but everyone is dying. Oh, I can switch now. I wanted to bring out my Raiden. What is the situation? I can't wait to upgrade. Getting the artifacts from her is gonna be a is what is gonna be a challenge.
Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the he academia, has a very not to face. cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravitat have any need of someone like me? Hmm? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Hmm. Well, I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And, uh, how long will I be required to stay? Uh, there's no definite answer Sus. as of now. Do you mean to tell me that, despite coming all the way here to Gandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Ah, uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Suspicious. Tainari, what, the heck? what was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a the project, but I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hypasia? It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think... My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and uh, most of my acquaintances are researchers. Oh, how about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh? What is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Some say that this item is the very basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise, so I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Huh. Great! Next up, Sumeru City! Uh... Oh, but wait, before, that's we right, Tainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go. Farewell. And good luck to you both. Uh, 
I wanted to check something, but I forgot what it was. I see everything. Did the search and rescue dog run off somewhere? Is the trainee forest ranger doing okay in her job? Do we still have enough medicinal herbs in stock? What was that? Oh, that was him. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Please take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? oh? What is it? It's my recipe for peanut pockets. I told oh. you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandarvaville. Well then, I, Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gandarvaville again. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Did we get the recipe? Yeah, we did. Um... Also, why did I hear this? Did I just hear his... Everyone hold hands! Did the search and rescue dog run off somewhere? Is the trainee forest ranger doing okay in her job? Do we still have enough she medicinal can read herbs in stock? <laughs> can she read anyone's mind? Hey! We call it? No. Can we Hopefully I'll meet a loaded scholar who will at least pay me enough for a drink. When I'm back in the city. Oh, someone's looking for a sugar daddy or mommy. <laughs> I see everything. I need to get results to apply for research funding. But I can't get results without funding. You can only read Sumerian pieces. Interesting. Hey. Her name is Um. The Evaluation Council always deals with such bothersome issues. I'll just pretend I've never heard of it. That's... Wow, that's really cool. I need to keep an eye on those meditating scholars in the forest. Hands. As long as I get to eat meat every meal, I'm happy. A simple man with simple needs. I see everything. <laughs> What's the color of the Sumeru rose again? The forest watcher told me once. As long as I get to eat meat every meal, I'm happy. That's so cool. Where are we headed? To the city? Well, we're gonna <laughs> take the closest portal. Oh. Whoops. Sorry, child. And go all the way.
fight me? Everyone hold hands! Shine down! Oh, right, right, right. So we shouldn't. So if we do. I kind of want to fight something to try it out. <laughs> child have a chicken burger from KFC for a limited time <laughs> oh god that's such a useful but I'm so happy I got her <laughs> Okay, do you know what? We're not going to continue. I'm actually going to end the stream here. I think this is a good stopping point. Reason being, my eyes are stinging. <laughs> this is what happens when I stay awake for over 24 hours. <laughs> I'm so tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, my eyes hurt. That's light. <laughs> not helping. What they say is true. You have um, to see the I promise world for I'll stream longer to tomorrow. How beautiful Hopefully, it is. I mean, I'm glad that we only had one hiccup with the network. And that was just earlier and then no problems after that, so that's that's great. Um I'm actually glad that it's fixed now. I get back to streaming. I can probably finish making the video now because I can start to collect footage. But I will do that some other time. But yeah, I'll, I'll stream longer tomorrow. As a as a as an apology. <laughs> but thank you for joining. And I uh, I'm gonna go have a long sleep. Well, I'll try to. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.